Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now today's episode, we have an easy $100 up for grabs, compliments of Fairwinds Credit Union. So typical fashion, we'll take a look at the offer, the requirements, the terms and conditions, eligibility, and make sure you have everything you need to know to make Fairwinds money into your money. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead, press the subscribe button, and let's get to work. Now again, first things first, a lot of the accounts we do here have been banks, but Fairwinds is a credit union, so we'll talk about that a little bit later, but again, that doesn't really change a whole lot you can still get their $100. So let's take a look at the offer here. Of course, this offer is going to be a referral link. Of course, I have you covered down below. It'll be the first comment, and then it'll be the first link in the description as well. Now, of course, when they're saying here is, hey, you open the account using this referral link, you can get $100, and I will get $100 too. So win-win for everybody. And once again, we're looking at two requirements. They told us on the offer sheet, but here it is. Use the referral link. Again, I have you covered. Now, the direct deposit $200 within 45 days of account opening. And again, they're going to have you open a spend account when you go ahead and go through this application. Now, it is important to note here with this being a credit union that when you open the account, they're going to automatically have you open a membership shares account. It's like a $5 that you have to leave on deposit in that membership shares account. With credit unions, that's how you become a member of the credit union. You have shares, if you will. It's kind of silly if you ask me, but it's one of those things that they do. Now, of course, if you close the account, you know, you will get your $5 back. They'll send you a check. Um, but as long as you're part of this credit union, that $5 will stay on deposit in the membership shares account and you won't be able to transfer it out or anything like that. So just something to be aware of. Now, in addition to that, let's talk about the eligibility here. This is a pretty easy one. This is one for new customers only, so you can't have or currently have a Fairwinds checking or spending account. And number two here, if you look at our good map, you can see that this is nationwide. Now, if you go through the through their offer sheet or from, through their credit card credit union site, it looks like you know once upon a time this was for Florida only. However, you know they've opened it up nationwide, which is uncommon for credit unions. But especially through the referral link, you know you can go ahead and get it wherever you're at, making this a nationwide offer, which is pretty good. Now let's talk about a few things here. As far as the direct deposit goes, you know, the, when, normally when they say direct deposit, the most pure form is, you know, money from like your payroll, your employer, from your check hitting that account. Now in the past, you know, their terms on direct deposits have been a little lax, but then I think around late 2021, they went through and they tightened up the terms and conditions around that. So, you know, I've seen data points of people saying, hey, I pushed money from an Amex business checking account over to Fairwinds and it worked. So there's still some work rounds left. So what I'll do is I will link to the doctor of credit article down below. And what you want to do is if you don't have a direct deposit, or if you prefer to try to spoof it, um, you can go ahead and go into like the comment section. And a lot of people post their data points in there, what worked and what didn't work. That's a pretty easy way. So you can potentially find a workaround for this hundred bucks. Now then, when we talk about fees on this account, well, again, luckily enough, with credit unions, there usually are no fees, and that is true for Fairwinds as well. There are no fees on this account, especially the spend account that um, you know we're getting for this one. They have other accounts, but I would just stick with that one. Now, in addition to that, as far as keeping the account open, um, there is no account minimum or early termination fee for closing the account early, so technically, once you get the bonus, you could shut it down if you wanted to. However, as you may have guessed, I tend to keep accounts like this open that are once in a lifetime. I've mentioned it before, but because of referrals, what they're going to do is they're going to allow you a few times a year, you know, they're going to have their referral program running. And I believe you can refer up to 10 people a year at about $100 a head. So, you know, if you did that, it'd be about $1,000 total. Now, I guess it's a little bit different for everyone else because obviously I have the platform of YouTube and two channels. But again, across the, you know, across the entire year, if you know you want to refer a few people through your social media, friends and family, whatever. I think it's worth it to keep these open. Again, you're basically just leaving that $5 on deposit um, in their membership shares account for the potential to make, you know, $1,000 or at least even a few hundred bucks throughout the year. Now, overall, that's everything you need to know about the bonus itself. It's very simple and to the point, but I do have a data point that I will share with you. We can walk through that and talk about this a little bit more for those of you who are curious. And so if you take a look at this, this is a screenshot from my account. Now, again, I was doing this in the middle of last year. Now, you know, I've highlighted what you need to know in red. So that um, July 7, July 19th, one new account deposit $500. We'll talk about that in a second, why I did $500. But you can see it hit. You can see, again, there's two um, authorizations by Chase just to link the account together. 
you can see I actually pulled back that $500, you know, right away, you know, if only a few days later, so you don't even have to leave any money over there. Now, if you jump up to July 30th and August 16th, that is an ACH deposit from my employer. You can see it says payroll right there of 200 bucks. And you can see on August 16th, deposit welcome to Fairwinds of $100. Now, additionally to that, you can see I continue to refer a bunch of people then, and I will probably, you know, continue to refer more people now like I'm doing right this minute and they do pay out. Now, one thing to note here of interest, you can see that at 816, you get a lot of, of $100 there. And what happens is, from what I've learned is, you know, Fairwinds, they kind of do batch payout. So I think the 15th of every month is when they, they go through audit things and then post the uh, the bonuses, either referrals or the signups, right? So, you know, that's basically when I would look for if you sign up, you know, this month and then, you know, the probably the following month or right around the 15th or 16th, that's when you should look for your money, you know, the first and the 15th classic, if you will. Now, one other thing to note here, again, you saw my initial opening deposit was $500. You're not required to use $500 to open the account. However, this account is pretty good for another reason because it has $500 of credit card funding available. So what that means is I'll link to a video from my other channel where I talk about, you know, credit card funding and, you know, manufactured spending and all of that because there are some things you're going to want to know if this is brand new to you. So that will be down below as well. But really what this means is when you're opening an account, you have to, you usually need to make an opening deposit right and so what they're allowing you to do is use a credit card to make that opening deposit and you can do it up to five hundred dollars so for me personally i use either the ink unlimited or the ink cash card it's going to be 1.5x back that's my best catch-all card and of course this is going to just code as you know catch-all so something like the city double cash or something like that um, would work again if you do this there's some tricks you're just going to make sure you've called your your credit card issuer and lowered your cash advance fee down to zero just in case it doesn't code as a cash advance again more detail on that dedicated video down below if you're new to credit card funding. But this is an easy way to kind of chip away at minimum spends or rack up some quick points. Yes, it's only $500, but if you start to do a lot of these, it really adds up, trust me made a lot of points off of credit card funding alone. So again, just uh, something else, a little extra, if you will. Now let's put on the summary slide and wrap this one up. So again, we can see on screen everything you need to do in the summary if you prefer, but the return here, I'm saying it's about 50% because again, you're putting in 200 and you're getting back 100. Now again, it's, you know, free money because you don't have to spend that $200. You really just have to put it somewhere for a little bit and then you get your $100. So this is a really easy one. I'm hoping everyone can take advantage of. Anyways, guys, if you like this one, drop me a thumbs up down below. If you found it particularly interesting, consider subscribing to the channel. Again, posting content just like this every week, how to make banks money into your money. My question for you guys is let me know what you think about Fairwinds Credit Union you know, trying to get a good list of good variety of bonuses. So there's something for everyone. And again, don't sleep on the referral programs easy either. It's an easy way to make additional money. So let me know if you're going to jump on this offer. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you very soon in the next one.